Hey, welcome back to another episode of Fat Free Diaries. It is Monday, February 7th. Um, it's about 9.20 this morning. And um, I'm Ellie, back to talk to you a little bit um, about things that are working for me, things that are not working for me. Um, before I get into all of that, I want to send shout-outs. I want to send a shout-out to the Epster. She's lost over 50 pounds, and um, she's doing her thing, looking wonderful. I'm very proud of you. You know, keep up the wonderful work. Um, I also want to send a shout out to Marie Roker over at MyHealthBuddies.com. Go and visit the site. It's a wonderful site. You know, it's it's a great initiative to get healthy, to get your kids healthy. MyHealthBuddies.com. And also to my homegirl in Argentina, Maria N. I'm being um, private about your name um, only because I want to shout out the fact that you were brave enough to join over Eat Us uh, Anonymous over there in Argentina. Um, it's it's a beautiful thing to hear the messages that I'm hearing, to hear that um, you guys are making strides, um, and that in any way I have any influence on that. Um, you know, you guys are the ones making the choices. But if um if you watching my diaries is helping you along the way, I mean I'm I'm much more grateful that I even started these. Um, I got my little notes here. Hold on, they fell. Um, Alright, so I got my shout-outs out of the way. Um, I haven't been with you, um, it's been probably a little bit over a week. Um, I'm a little under the weather. I realize that as you're doing the right things in your life, everything else seems to kind of speed up. Um, and things have been getting really overwhelming. Schoolwork, housework, family stuff, um, you know, trying to be there, trying to be super mom, trying to be super auntie, and, um... It, it kind of gets to you. Last week, the kids were sick, um, and it seems that I just picked up all the kitty germs. But um, I'm, you know, I'm getting through it, moving on, um, realizing, listening to my body saying, "Slow down a little bit." And what I do is I attack what I can attack. If all I can clean is the mess on my desk, then that's what I deal with. If all I can do is walk from here to the corner, then that's what I do. You do what you can do. You know, for me to say, I'm going to work out for an hour every day. I have a, a treadmill in my house. But it's not always something that you can do. It's not always something that you can take the time for. And, okay, what if I do do the hour? Does that mean that uh, it's going to work? Because I did an hour today, and I haven't been able to get back on it for a month. You know, eventually it becomes a place to hang your clothes to dry. No, um, you do what you can, and you, you're constantly doing it. Um, which helped me discover a new exercise. It's probably not new to some of you, um, but it's called the desinquieto. The desinquieto is whenever you're doing anything that, that requires you to wait. You're waiting online at the DMV, and that could take for a minute. You're waiting for the bus to come. And in New Jersey, let me tell you, the buses take forever sometimes. You're waiting for the train. The trains have all been having delays because of icy conditions, yada, yada. Move. Simple, just simple. Desinquieto means that you can't stay still. Okay, that's your Spanish word for today. Desinquieto. I go from, I balance from one knee to another, from one to another, from one to another. If anybody were to look at me in the New York metro area, they're thinking I'm listening to headphones. I'm, I don't have headphones on at the time, but it's okay. And what about just kind of stretching your foot back and forth, you know, pick it up, drop it, pick it up, pick up those toes, put them back, pick them up. You're sitting down and you're doing it, but you know what? You're pulling on your calf muscles. You're toning something. You're moving. Your heart rate is going just a little bit higher. You know, it doesn't have to be a major exercise. Now, I cheated this morning. I went and I looked on, on the scale to see how, how things are moving along. Um, the Weight Watchers people were really confused because their scale said that I gained weight. But I've been consistently weighing myself in the morning and I went to an afternoon meeting. So that tends to change things a bit. Your body weight is different. You retain water throughout the day. Maybe you're a morning person where, you know, that's your lightest. Everybody has different weights. So I went in the afternoon and they said I went up, which is going to be fine because when I go back this week and I go to my regular morning meeting, everything's going to be as it should be. Um, but I cheated this morning and I looked at the scale and... um let's just say that I'm real close to the 20 pound mark and that's pretty intense since this is I'm working on my going on my six week you know so 20 pounds in six weeks awesome um so all I'm saying is don't stay still 
you know okay so you're at the computer all day put on some music you know listen to it in your cubicle if you you know you work in corporate America um go to the bathroom and walk back and forth a couple of times you know when you go to the bathroom don't go to the one in your office go to the one upstairs or go to the one on the other floor um that didn't make no sense upstairs the other floor anyway listen it's early and I'm on all kinds of cough medicines right now um but you get what I'm saying I'm just saying I'm I'm just an ordinary person trying to make ordinary changes little ones at a time I cannot conquer the whole mountain at once but I can do step by step. And that's all I have to say today. Today's a short one. I love you. Thank you for continuing to watch. I'm asking that you please go on YouTube.com and check out El De Amor and um, become a subscriber. This way you can keep getting my messages. You won't miss any. And um, and I can see the numbers go up. And it, it just drives me crazy when I see you know my views are gone, going up to in the hundreds. Um, even if you don't comment, the fact that you're visiting and you're subscribing, I know that I'm doing something right. Um, and that's that's really all I need from these diaries to know that I'm on the right track and to keep me on the right track. So far, working on six weeks and um, you know in the in the right direction on the scale. Um, I've already shared with you that not every day is sunshine, but some days are, and um, this is one of them. I'm really grateful that you've been hanging out with me and a little bit at a time. Desinquieto, be desinquieto or desinquieta, boy or girl, don't matter. Just don't stay still. Even if you're a, a big chub chub and you're so fluffy that you can't get out your chair, it's okay. Move the hands. You know, move the hands. A little bit of shaking, a little bit of, you know, this, that, whatever. Be happy. When I'm in the car, that's another one that I do. I'm in the car and I'm stuck in traffic. And let me tell you, Holland Tunnel traffic is sick when you're trying to get out of the city on a Friday. I put on the music and I just, you know, start moving and start squeezing the butt cheeks while you're sitting down every little bit helps i'm gonna have a fantastic update for you come wednesday or maybe thursday depending on when i can get on and i'm gonna let you know how many inches being this inquieta has taken off of me how many pounds it's helping me move along with and um and i would love to hear the same from you let me know if it's working i know it is gonna work for you if you try but let me know let me know that we're on the right track okay let's do this together let's keep going forward you know much love to all of you who've been commenting and you know checking like on the status. You guys rock. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.